Is Keith Kachuk's son now in the bigs? He is. He's in the National Hockey League. Played his first game in St. Louis last night, his sixth career game. You know, this is one of the... His uh, first game was in St. Louis? First game oh, in, in St. Louis. Louis. Oh, okay, so, so this is his first season. Correct. Okay. Sixth game in his career, first game. And, you know, the National Hockey League, he's on an entry-level contract, and teams really have... You know, a little bit of a tryout period to decide if they want to keep him for the entire season. Okay. So if he plays greater than nine games, the Met burns a full year of his contract. Okay. So they'll basically allow him to play nine games and then make a decision, either send him back to his junior team, because he's not old enough to play in the American Hockey League in the minors. You've got to be 20 years old. Oh, so so how well is he doing? Does he have a chance to, to stay? I think he has a chance. You know, I don't want to put a percentage on it, um, but it's, it's still a little bit unknown. I mean, his goal, obviously, is to make it as difficult as possible right. for Calgary uh, to make a decision. But he, you know, listen, this, this kid is a, is it's such a great story, first off, because, you know, you, the Blues had six draft picks last June, right. five in the first round, four in the top 15. It was incredible. May never happen again. And so he's the first of that draft class from St. Louis to make it to the National Hockey League. Uh, highest draft pick in the history of St. Louis hockey. You know, obviously. What the number Senate, was he? What, what, he was number 19 last night. Oh, 19, uh, sixth overall. Sixth overall. Sixth okay. overall. Highest yeah. in, the, in the history of St. Louis hockey. And, you know, the Kachucks are such a great family. Keith Kachuk obviously just retired six, seven years ago. You know, I mean, this kid is coming to the rink, growing up, going to the rink, watching his dad play. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, I saw him on an almost daily basis out of Hardy's Iceplex in Chesterfield playing with the St. Louis AAA Blues you know, just three, four years ago. Right. He's out there skating with us every single summer. And now all of a sudden he's in the National Hockey League. And I'm interviewing him when, you know, just a couple years ago, he's asking, you know, when are they going to trade so-and-so? You know? <laughs> and, and it's just kind of surreal to see these kids make it to the National Hockey League. But it's a great story. He is a unbelievable talent does he get it is he a good kid oh great kid yeah great kid so he and understands the the whole thing and McGraw this guy understands it more than probably most 10-year veterans I mean this guy mm. he's grown up in the locker room right with his dad being Keith Kachuk going to multiple Olympics um you know having you know mul- you know every year they would have team dinners at his house you know Kachuk would always have the fellows over you know you think about all the players who played here that Kachuk was super tight with who he grew up with like a Doug Waite for example Billy right. Garen Scott Young all these type of guys Dallas Strike these guys were always around the Kachuk household so he knows how to handle himself in this environment. So, Probably so as good six, as any kid who comes into, into the National Six games Hockey. in, can you get any sense? I mean, is it is is it hard to tell how good he's going to be? I mean, six six games in, you're oh. one year out of out of you know draft status. Yeah, is kind yeah. of hard to tell. He's isn't eighteen it? years old, right? Uh, and he's a young eighteen year old. He won't even be nineteen until December. Um, you know, so. You know, it's it's just difficult because is Calgary it, any good? No, they're not very good. Well, that's, that's why good. it was a bad loss for the Blues last night. But you know, you just wonder: are they going to want to send him back so they don't? You know, so his contract isn't up in four years right. as opposed to being in three years. Right. You know, what do they want to do here? It's not about whether or not he's good enough to play. I think he's shown that he can play at this level. You know, I mean, he's not going to be obviously put up the numbers this year that he will down the line as right. he gets more and more comfortable and just to being a professional hockey player. But right. there's not a whole lot for him to gain. He's not going to get that much better. That's a good point, By too. going back to junior. But just for being here for nine games, he's going to be better. Yeah. Next year, having that experience. What so position does he play? Is he a scorer? Is he a defensive guy? Players. No, he's an offensive player, and he's a big-time scorer. He plays an old-school game, which you don't see too many young kids play anymore, which is go to the hard areas in front of the net, and he stays there, too, and he's willing to take the punishment. Um, he gets under the skin of opposing players, and he's got the ability to beat you one-on-one. So he can be a scary talent down the mm-hmm. line. Interesting. And I, I put some video up last night um, on Fox Sports Midwest of him playing as like an eight, nine-year-old with a couple other kids from St. Louis who were also drafted, one being Clayton Keller, who is a seventh overall pick, who's playing at Boston University right now. And, I mean, they, they look like Lemieux and Gretzky out there. I mean, it was crazy, some of these highlights, watching them when they were little kids. So it kind of brings to light just how good these kids have just, been for just, a long, Just long so we understand, the Blues didn't have a chance to get one of these St. Louis kids, right? They would have they snapped them up. They didn't. Yeah. I mean, the only one that they could have gotten uh, would have been Trent Frederick, who went 29th overall. Well, there's two kids they could have gotten. Trent Frederick went 29th overall, first round to the Boston Bruins. And then a St. Louis kid was the first pick in the third round, who's a goaltender, Joseph Wool, who's having a great season at Boston College. Frederick, by the way, is at Wisconsin, University of Wisconsin. Yeah. 
His teammate is Luke Cunnan, who's the captain of the University of Wisconsin, who's from St. Louis, who went 15th overall. So I don't want to confuse everybody, but want to get everybody's name in there. But the Blues got a great first-round pick, a kid by the name of Tage Thompson, who um, has a chance to be you know, one of the top five players in this draft class. He is that good, and he's right. having a great uh, season once again at the University of Connecticut. All right. Uh, well, hockey Sense on KTRS. What is it this week? Tonight. Jammer and I. Uh, break it down. Why don't you get Walt on? Uh, I had him on last week. Oh, okay. Thanks for listening. Because he, because he lives, he lives at Obi Clark's, does he not? Uh, he used to. Oh, I, I think he's moved out ever since. Okay. You know, his his younger. I got, t- I got six seconds. Well, and Jim, uh, Jim O'Brien, by the way, from Obi Clark's, at the game last night, and could Chuck Sweet. All right, tomorrow uh, tonight. Hockey Sense. Yeah. Big five fifty. KTRS. You know, until recently, I had no idea of the difference.